If you've followed this channel for a while, then you probably know by now that bending time and space is, is kind of my specialty. It's, it's my favorite thing in the world. So when I saw the new Death by Audio Space Bender, I just knew I had to check it out. And boy, did it open up a wormhole of tone that was an absolute treat to get lost in. So let's roll the intro jam and hear it. Space Bender is Death by Audio's take on a modulation pedal. But as with anything else Death by Audio, this pedal is about exploring and reveling in the extremes. Hence you'll find everything from hyper intense flangers, dreamy chorus tones, modulated delays, hazy cascading ambience, hypnotizing pitch descents, and surreal resonance within this retro sci-fi inspired design. Alright, I think we should just kick this demo off with uh, one of my favorite ways to use the Space Bender, which is for lovely layers of dreamy modulated ambience. And now let's get a bit more familiar with Space Bender and uh, hear what the speed and depth controls and the intensity toggle can do.
right? The delay time toggle. Now it might seem simple and unassuming, but it changes the overall sound of the pedal massively. So let's hear what it can do. Synthesizers and modulation have always been a match made in heaven, so let's explore Spacebender's rich harmonic overtones through a synthesizer. Maybe you noticed that I had the, uh, the envelope mode engaged in that synth example, so let's learn what that toggle is all about.
I think we can all agree that when you have a wild shoegazy device like this, you gotta hear it together with some distortion. Right? Right. Spacebender's potential as an instrument in its own right, because its toggles can add some really cool glitchy textures to drum beats. There's a tendency these days that for a, a pedal to be labeled as innovative, it needs to be jam-packed with cross-category effects, several hidden control layers, and maybe sprinkled on top with a granular looper. Hence, it's just really nice to see a new pedal that's so focused in its control set that still manages to feel and sound different and fresh. I especially love how these three big old toggles right here can drastically change the overall feel and character of the sound, which uh, sees me pull everything from, you know, huge chorus tones to dramatic sweeping ambience simply by flicking a toggle. It's so simple, but so powerful and oh so 
gratifying. But what's even more impressive is that Spacebender has really made me embrace resonance. I, I work with sound almost every day and resonance is typically something that I seek to eliminate. But the Spacebender can create some truly beautiful uh, resonant overtones that, that add this otherworldly harmonic layer to your tone without getting abrasive. Unless you want it to be abrasive, then it can do that too. <laughs> The only tiny downside to, uh, to Spacebender is that it doesn't have a mix control. Because as with any other Death by Audio device, it can get really loud and all-consuming at times. Not that that isn't fun, you know, but it would just have been nice with a bit more control over the overall mix. So, if you're looking for a, a plug-and-play simple modulation and ambience machine that still manages to pack a, a massively inspiring punch, then Spacebender is a must try. Thank you for sticking around till the end. You've been awesome. I've been Stefan and I am signing out.